What's up, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to another Pug Love Productions YouTube channel video. As always, Adam Z here. Hello. And today I've got a quick unboxing for you from the Funko Shop. Now, it is the Zombie Sasha. As far as my knowledge goes, I did check it out, and I, she's still available up for grabs if you uh, want to get her. She's $15. Uh, plus shipping and handling. I'll go into more details on on all that because uh, I'm kind of going to do a little review on this too and uh, I'll try to get a little collection close-up action. Maybe not my turntable collection close-up but I definitely want to get it out of the box and take a closer look at it. So let's just get into this bad boy. So I got this on Saturday. It's currently Tuesday when I'm, I'm unboxing this. Hopefully I get the video up later today, but uh, yeah, I got this on Saturday. It took them about a week to ship it out, and like I said, it's $15, like pretty much any Funko Shop exclusive, but with shipping and handling, uh, at least for my area, it comes up to about $6.95 for shipping and handling, so essentially you're paying $21, $22 for a single pop which is just ridiculous, but uh, I didn't want to miss out on this because you never know what's going to be popular at that time and what's going to sell out quick and you're not going to get a chance to grab it unless you buy it from you know, a third party kind of thing or off eBay. I, I didn't want to do that with, with this pop. I was really excited when they first announced it and I actually uh, was watching uh, FM, Franklin FM McGlinnis. Uh, one of his Funko Newses and he mentioned it was available so as soon as I was done watching that video I went straight to the shop and ordered it just so I wouldn't miss out so thank you for that FM I'm sure uh, I ha I do check my email every now and then I don't check it every day so I mean I would have gotten it even if I hadn't seen that video but uh, yeah because like I said, she's still available. It's one of those things, you never know what's going to be popular, what's going to sell out quick. And I did not want to miss out on this. So, very good, very good packaging on Funko's part here. Lots of bubble wrap. And inside another box, which is pretty cool. I know I narked on that before, but now I'm seeing the glories of having it inside a smaller box to prevent that box damage. Not bad. That is uh, not bad. So, let's get her out of there. And there you have it, right there, is Zombie Sasha. And that's pretty much right before I stopped uh, really watching The Walking Dead. I, I don't know if the mid-season or however they split it up when they have like part of it in October and then part of it in, in the beginning of the year but I I only saw maybe one episode from the uh, October season and if they're playing it on right now I haven't seen any of the new ones it it I love Walking Dead you know I love zombies but it's just kind of not really piquing my interest anymore but this scene right here was just so memorable what she did, her sacrifice to try to really get Negan and kill him right there and then was just awesome. And it was just ridiculous. Like, I, I knew it was coming, I saw what she was doing, and I was like, I, I, you know, it's not gonna work, but you, you still have that hope that it will. So, that is pretty cool. The box is minty fresh. Minty, minty, minty. There's everyone from the other, uh, rest of the, the line there. And let's pull Sasha up here. Get them a little side by side. So, you can, like I said, I'm going to take her out of the box here. I'll stop my video and get them out so I'd be careful and not mess the box up. But you can see she's got that grayish zombie skin, a little blood action on the mouth, and uh, those great over eyes. So I'm actually going to get both of these out so we can do a nice comparison side by side, but uh, as far as price goes, um, it is not worth it. Uh, $22 for a single pop is just ridiculous, even if it's a you know limited edition, you know, 
exclusive from somewhere. I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, maybe if it was a piece count limited edition, like a thousand or five thousand, then yeah, it would be worth it. But like I said, I didn't want to miss out on this, so I really don't mind paying that $22, $21. But in uh, all honesty, it uh, it's just way too much. So give me a second. I'm going to pop these guys out and we can take a nice closer look at them. So here we are up close and personal with the Sashas. And uh, it's a pretty good side by side. I'm not going to lie, I've, I haven't looked at uh, regular Sasha here up close yet. So they do both have that same uh, hairstyle right here, which is nice. Uh, and ultimately not bad with all the little details they tried to do here. Uh, as you can see, you got some some messy paint job on the legs, which that's, uh, you know, that's gonna happen. You can't even see that in the box, so you're not gonna find something like that until you take it out. It's whatever. But not bad detail with everything overall, with the gun, the boots, even the shirt has, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see here if I can get it to... No, not quite, but uh, even her shirt has, or her sweater has, uh, kind of divots in it, but then we got the zombie Sasha here, and like I said, I really like how they did the gray skin and uh, the grayed out kind of eyes. The blood job is not too bad, you know, you got that blood all over her mouth and shirt, but it would be nice to see just maybe a little bit more, maybe on her hands, you know, walkers are always grabbing people. So that would have been a little bit better to see just a little bit more blood on her, not scattered on her face or anything like a blood splatter, because I really like how they have it just kind of on the mouth and shirt a little bit. But it would be nice to see it maybe on the hands, but ultimately not bad. Other than that, there's not really too much detail to go on here, except for her boots, uh, which aren't bad. So that's not, not too shabby. I do like it, but like I said, ultimate uh, overall review on it is the fact that it's $15 plus shipping and handling, which is probably going to run you about the $6 that I paid. That's just way too much, um, even for, you know, a Funko Shop limited edition. So I really think they should lower that price since the shipping's usually pretty high. But they did a great job packaging it, the box came in perfect condition, so ultimately, you know, that price is really my only complaint, and maybe just a little bit more blood splatter on the hands. That That's really all, you know, it's good without it, really is, but uh, wouldn't mind seeing it with it, you know? So there you guys have it, not bad, very happy with that purchase. Again, thank you FM for the heads up. Uh, but she is still available if you guys want to grab her up. If you really like that one like I did and don't mind paying that price, definitely go for it. Um, yeah, that is my collection close-up, my review. I'm not going to give it a rating. It's just a general review. And my unboxing of the Zombie Sasha. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are doing great. Let me know if you picked her up and what you guys thought about her. Or just what you've been picking up in general. Anything goes, you know that. And... Peace out.